All right, I'm doing an oil change on a 2015 Sienna, and I want to show you my kind of quick and easy oil change technique. Okay, so step by step. Pop the hood. Open her up. Okay, <clears throat> so here's our dipstick. We want to check the level before just to make sure we know if we're burning oil. So that's, it's in between the two dots. So it's not uh, burning excessive oil, is that there? And I'll start by noting the diameter of this tube. And the reason I did that is because I'll be using this oil evacuation pump. And I have a series of different diameter tubes I can use. I want to get the largest tube that fits, which is this particular one. I'm going to feed it down. You feel it kind of stop. And it goes. Started. So I give it about 20 pumps. You can see the oil coming into the evacuation pump. So because this is lower than the oil sump of the car, it actually just siphons. So once I get it started, I can just leave it. It'll take about five minutes for this to pull all the oil out. The oil is draining nicely. Okay, so that's our filter. Uh, you'll see under it's kind of a little known fact that you can change your filter every other oil change so a lot of people you know go ahead and change the filter every time now whether you feel do it every time or every other time the reason I bring that up is because I got under the car so what's the point of using this whole uh, fancy siphon device if you have to get it under the car anyways? Well, there's two reasons. One, the drain plug will strip on you, so you don't have to deal with that if you use the siphon device. And two, since I only do the filter every other time, every other oil change, I only have to do the siphon. I don't have to get it under the car at all for every other oil change. So that's how I do it. Uh, maybe different for you. There's our paper filter element. And this o ring is replaceable. I do not replace it. I mean, unless it's torn or something. So we're frequently going to see, you know, vague difference between the one you take out and the one you put in. This one kind of has these felt ends to it. This is likely a factory Toyota filter, uh, but I have good confidence in Wix. So we're just going to pop this puppy back in. Well, hear that? So it's starting to get to the bottom. At this point, I kind of plunge the tube in and out a little, see if I can get any deeper or get the last bit. No. All right, that's all we're gonna get out. Let's come over here, take the cap off. I like to always put the cap right here. Wait, if I forget to put the cap back on, the hood won't close. Okay, here's our oil. 020. Poured that whole jug of oil in. Don't know if five quarts is enough for this vehicle or not. Okay, let's see where we're at. Huh. Okay. You might want to add a little bit more, but it is between the two dots. 
believe I will be holding this button and simultaneously turning the key. Yep. There. That worked. Okay. So I don't need a sticker up here because I actually use the maintenance required. Maintenance required. I think a lot of people don't understand the maintenance required light on Toyotas. It's not a sensor. It doesn't have any data from uh, the computer besides every 5,000 miles it comes on. It's a clock. So I change my oil every 5,000 miles. I just wait for the little maintenance required to show up and then I change my oil. Uh, if not, I'd put a little sticker on the corner of the windshield.